Hello there. Tonight, shave. I've changed the camera a bit and zoomed in a bit. I don't know what difference that's going to make to the picture quality or anything like that. We're going to try it. Tell me what you think. Uh, tonight's shave is going to be with my 68 Lady Gillette. It's got a Gillette. Super Platinum, 7 o'clock Super Platinum, or more commonly known as the 7 o'clock Blacks. So, uh, excited to try those blades. I've not used them before. Normally when I use a, a new blade, I use it in my Black Handle Super Speed, but to... Uh, Lady Gillette is basically a fairly mild super speed on a long handle. It's a bit milder than the black handled super speed, but not a whole lot. I like mild in a razor, uh, in a DE. And uh, there's not a lot of difference when it comes to telling me what the blade is going to do and stuff like that. So and we're going to use what I'm using for soap. It's just a, uh, a tallow soap, one of the first, and I'll talk more about it later. For a brush, my V-Long 12601. Uh, this soap is a soap that I won off what is probably the very first piff I ever won. It was off a Badger and Blade. And a guy by the name of Rinaldo, uh, one of the members there, as far as I can tell, he's still a member there, uh, did a piff. And this was like a, I won the piff, and this was like a, a mystery gift that went in the piff. And it's a, he said it's a tallow soap, it's a rose scent, it's a lovely to me, it's a lovely rose scent. And, uh, that's all he knew. He knew that it was a handmade soap. Uh, but he couldn't remember where he got it from. That kind of deal. I think you guys have seen me use this soap before in one of my videos here. But, this is a, I love rose and lavender and lilac and, and all of those. And this soap... It's got a wonderful rose scent, and I don't use it very often because I don't want to run out of it. Because he doesn't remember who made it, and it is lovely. It has a lovely scent. Now, one of the things about this soap is it taught me a lot about lathering a soap. Because this soap took at least two months for me to learn how to lather. Uh, this soap would disappear on my face. I'd get a lather out of it that I thought was just incredible. And I would put it on my face and begin to so, uh, shave with it. And halfway through the shave, the lather would start to disappear and dissipate. And it just was... And if it had been... Any other scent, I would have tossed it and found something else. You know, uh, this, but this soap is one of those soaps that taught me, and I'm adding water here, that taught me about lathering soaps. Uh, it taught me, one of the things it taught me is patience. And the other that it taught me was persistence. To just not give up. You know, and that has served me well with other soaps, like a Williams Mug soap, you know. Uh, I just decided that, that soap was not going to beat me. 
And I was going to learn how to lather it. And that paid off. Now, you know, you can do what you want. I'm not telling anybody to do anything. But I have found a lot of the times that just because of soap, particularly soaps, but just because, I mean, look at that. Just because of soap or a cream or just because a razor or a blade or a brush or something like that. Lovely. Got a ladder flying all over the place. Just because that product is difficult does not mean it's a bad product. And uh, there are tons of products out there. Yeah, that, that you don't have to fool with. You can get a wonderful lather or the, the product works really well first time out. No problems. When I'm not telling anybody to put up, the first thing I would say to you, don't put up with irritation. Don't put up with substandard shaves. Anything like that, but sometimes we throw away gems thinking that it's a lump of coal, you know, and that's this is one of those soaps that if I had followed my my instincts I would have tossed this soap and it would have been a bad move because this is an absolutely wonderful wonderful soap it was just different than all the other soaps that I had used up to that point wonderfully slick up to that point it was different than all the other soaps I had used and I didn't understand it and I, I'll tell you right now something I have learned with soaps and I think you're going to find it true the longer that you shave with soaps one of the things that I have learned in soaps is if there's a problem with the soap it's usually the water ratio either you're not getting the proper water ratio because you don't understand that soap which is usually the case or the soap can't handle water but most of the time it's it's a uh, with me, it's always been a a matter of not understanding what that soap needed regarding water. Once I figured out how much water the soap like, particularly in the beginning when you first start to lather the soap. Some soaps want a ton of water real fast, and other soaps you gotta add it gradually. And then there are some soaps that it doesn't care, they don't care. So but and that's my experience. I am by no means an expert, but when it comes down to a soap, and learning to lather it, 99% of the time for me, it comes down to 
how much water does that soak what? And how much? Does that soak? How fast does that soak want water? And then once I find that, then it is uh, how much water can that soap take before it collapses. Once I understand those, then I pretty much have that particular soap licked. Now, this blade, talk about it for a little bit. That's my second pass with it. This blade is in my hands and against my skin a really sharp blade. I would almost put this to feeling sort of like my feather feel. I know I'll probably get some flack for that but uh, sharpness, the sharpness of a DE blade is just as subjective uh, as any other part of shaving because everybody's going to gauge sharpness in a different way it, and it's gonna they're gonna feel different on everybody else's face but for me this feels sharp like a feather and I can tell you right now I'm getting a lot of irritation and burn right in here on my neck I usually get a little bit of burn on my neck with most any DE. Uh, straight? No. But no matter no matter what kind of DE it is and no matter what kind of blade I'm using I usually get some irritation in, on my neck, just a bit. Uh, this, I've got a ton right here. When the aftershave hits that, there's going to be some burn, buddy. That's all right. I like the burn. Kind of like I like menthol. That makes my eyes water and try to pop out of my head. I like it. So, so that's all right. But uh, yeah, but that's a good blade. I mean, the the shave is wonderfully close. I don't need. There's no need for any kind of touch up anywhere on my face. Nowhere. Absolutely wonderfully smooth. Cold towel. Uh. And I'll use this cold towel just a bit to help cool down that irritation. But uh, yeah, wonderfully close, wonderfully lovely shave. That soap leaves a, a layer of slickness on my face that I bet you I could shave with just the slickness that's on my face. So, you know. Lovely. What I'm going to do, I found that this, the cool Gillette Cool Wave, it pairs really well with Rose for some reason. I don't know what it is, but I find that this aftershave goes really well. Oh, yeah. Nice burn. Good bit of flame there. <laughs> That's all right. That's the shave. Uh, if you like sharp blades, I'd say give that blade right there a try. Because uh, that's a sharp, sharp blade. Uh, period. And uh, it gave me an, a wonderfully close, smooth shave. Lovely. All right. The V-Long 12601.
is turning out to be just an absolutely lovely brush. It's, uh, I'm cleaning it out right now. It handles hard soaps really well. I've not used it, I don't think, on a cream yet. But I can't imagine that it will have any kind of problem. I can't imagine that will have any problem dealing with any kind of cream that I own. So, all right. I recommend you give that a try for $17, $18 new. If you're trying horse, if you're interested in horse, it's a good buy. It's a small knot and a small brush, but I like small knots and small brushes. So anyway, God bless you. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for subscribing to my channel and being a part of uh, my journey in the shaving world. And I will talk at you later. God bless. Huh.